How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to move your Steam games from your computer onto an external hard drive. It's extremely useful if you're running low on computer storage space. So let's begin. So guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is to plug in your hard drive. I've got my Seagate one terabyte hard drive plugged in. That's plenty of room for games. So now we want to open it up, go to File Explorer. And here's the drive. External hard drive we plugged in, Seagate Expansion D. Wait, let's move the camera down a bit. Yep, and inside, I've just got hard drive apps. I want to right click and create a new folder. New folder, we're going to call it Steam. Enter. So let's minimize that for now. So we've created a new folder on our hard drive called Steam. And now we want to open up Steam on the main page in the top left corner where it says Steam. Click on that. Go down to settings, open that up, and we'll go to downloads. And in downloads, you'll find Steam Library Folders button. Press that, and it'll open up all our Steam Library folders. So, as you can see, the only one we have is from C Drive Program Files slash Steam. That's the one that's on my laptop currently. <laughs> what we want to do now is to add the external hard drive to this. So go to add library folders and then here we get another little box. We want to go to this drop down box here, click on the D which is the external hard drive and you can see here the plus sign there's the hard drive apps which was in my folder and here's the Steam folder I made. So select that and now we've made a Steam library folder on our external hard drive. So it's ready. We, it's set as default currently. We can change that if we want to. We've, we so close that. We can add a game to our external hard drive now or move some. So go to library. I've got Sonic Adventures here. So let's go down to Sonic Adventures DX. Right click, install game. And now here you can see a drop down box where you can select where you want to install the game. You can install it to C program files which will go to the computer or our new folder the external hard drive D slash Steam. So next so we're installing Sonic Adventure DX onto our external hard drive. So finish we we'll wait for it to install. So while you're waiting for things to install, you might want to go and make a cup of tea, bake some cookies, pop some popcorn or something. So Sonic Adventure DX has finished installing. We should check if it's on our hard drive. So go back to the files, into our Steam folder. The library's now been added, so it's created some new folders. So Steam apps. Common is where the games will be kept. So here is Sonic Adventure DX. Open that up and here's all its files for the game. We don't want to mess with these just in case it ruins the game. So let's close this. And let's play some Sonic DX. Adventures. Alright. Play. Let's put down the camera. <clears throat> okay. So... I've got my Steam controller connected to test this out. <coughs> so input, let's go to input, input device. It says Xbox 360 controller for Windows for some reason, instead of Steam controller. But it's alright. Play. <coughs> Here we go. Here's a warning, you might get seizure. Sonic 
See, you can see that the game is running like how it should. Looks nice. This was originally on the Sega Dreamcast. I brought it part of the Dreamcast pack that they had. Oh no, the sea is getting flooded. Sonic Adventures DX Director's Cut. Select a character. <laughs> if only they had Uganda Knuckles. <laughs> Sonic, of course. Game. I don't know what the controls are. <coughs> ah, that's how you do it. Whoa! It's got up there. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. <laughs> so there you go guys, that is how you move your Steam games from your computer onto an external hard drive. And you can see that it was running perfect with Sonic DX Adventures. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. Consider becoming a subscriber for more content like this. Thank you for watching and peace out.